I wasn't always going to be a scientist. I studied a science commerce degree and I was planning to be an economist or an accountant. And it wasn't until the end of my degree that I decided that actually the thing that grabbed me the most really was the geology. The Earth's special because the outermost crust is able to move and that gives us mountain ranges and ocean basins that move and change dynamically through time and that enables life to exist on our planet. So I'm really interested in looking at mantle plumes. So these are cylinders of hot material that come up from the deep interior to the, to the surface and they can erupt very rapidly in geological terms, so one to two million years, and cause quite catastrophic events on the, on the Earth's surface. I'm interested in a plume that uh, was most active 100 million years ago in the Indian Ocean and whether this plume might be involved in the, the breakup of India, Antarctica and Australia. And we needed some new data that you can only collect with a ship. So we went out on the Southern Surveyor, offshore Perth, to collect this data to try to understand how the Indian Ocean Basin formed and how India left Australia and moved across the Indian Ocean towards Eurasia. So when we went out, we found that two massive underwater plateaus, about half the size of Tasmania, were continental rocks. So bits of India that were left behind as India made its journey from Australia to where it is now in Eurasia. Everyone was very excited. This work's important because the ocean basins are the key to understanding how our dynamic earth functions and the, the mechanisms involved in our earth. And then also understanding how our ocean currents move and reconstructing how in past environments would have operated uh, millions of years ago that could be analogues for future environments on earth. The L'Oreal Fellowship is really important for analysing some of the rocks that we collected in 2011. We're going to use the, the money to pay for a whole bunch of uh, mineral analyses to help us understand when the rocks formed and it's just exciting in general to have your science recognised. So next year we're going back out on the Australia's new uh, marine vessel, the Investigator, which we're very excited about. We're going to go back to one of the plateaus that we surveyed in 2011 to collect a whole bunch of extra data to try to understand more about how it formed and when and the, the deep earth processes that were involved in forming it.